How's it going? In this video, we'll cover some of the fundamentals of MASCAN. MASCAN is used for active reconnaissance. So we'll discuss what it is, some common use cases, and how to use it. We'll go over a demonstration of how to use it. And we'll specifically cover some of the options to use, the dash P, which is for the port, dash dash rate, which is how many packets per second, and dash O, G, which is the output file in a grappable format. So first off, MASCAN is a tool very similar to MAP. It is a port scanning tool, but is much faster because you can control the rate and it's designed for speed. Supposedly you can scan the entire internet if you have the right driver on your Linux system and the right network connection, you can scan the entire internet for a single port in three minutes. It's pretty fast. Some common use cases for MASCAN. Uh, I use it quite a bit during penetration tests. If we're doing an internal penetration test against a large enterprise network, uh, one of the quickest, one of the things I want to find out is all the default web servers or all the web servers running. So I will use, will use MASCAN to scan for port 80 and 443, for instance, across you know multiple, multiple subnets. Because one of the easiest way in to an organization and one of the, the overlooked ways are web services running on devices with default credentials. So MASCAN can help with that. It can also help if you're monitoring your network and you have thousands of computers you're monitoring and you, you want to see if somebody turned off the firewall, for instance, you can peri periodically scan all of your IP, all of your IPs just for a specific port to see if the firewall went down on any of those systems. So we'll do a quick demonstration here. So first we'll just look at the man page for MASCAN. And I'm running Kali Linux 2019.1. So as you can see right here, it can go up to 25 million packets per second, which is fast enough to scan the entire internet in three minutes for a single port. If we scroll down here to rate, this is when the options are going to be changing is the rate. <clears throat> There's a lot of uh, constraints on the rate. It won't go quite as fast as you would think it will out, out of the gate. But Linux can do about 2.5 million packets per second. Uh, Windows can do about 250,000 packets per second. To get to the 25 million packets per second, you need a specific driver, though, the PF underscore ring driver. From my experience, I typically do 100,000 packets per second. Uh, the, the faster you go, the more likely you are to miss something, just, up, just based on my experience. So, so you, can, you can tweak that, but 100,000 packets per second is a good starting point. So get out of there. So you can also just type mass scan and hit enter. It'll give you like this, just a short syntax. So what we're going to do for this demonstration is we're going to scan a range of the public IP addresses on in EC2 on Amazon's AWS. So over here, I've got the range we're going to scan is 54.250. So 54.250 with a slash 16 is a range of IP addresses that Amazon uses for EC2. So people that stand up an instance on Amazon are going to be assigned one of those public IP addresses. And I verified 54.250 is owned by Amazon right here. So there we go. 54.250. So, and we'll scan for port 80, port 443, and we'll also do 445 in case somebody stood up a web, I'm sorry, somebody stood up a Windows server but forgot to enable their firewall. And we'll see how long it takes for those three ports. So mass scan dash P. We said 80, 443, and 445. We're scanning 54.250.0.0 slash 16. And we're going to save this to a greppable file. We'll call it 54.250. Uh, and we'll call this dash ports 80, 443, 445.txt. All right, so that's pretty much it except the rate, we forgot the rate. So the rate I said we would use is 100,000. So it's 100,000, and, and you can increase this or decrease this and play around with it. 
So right now, what we're going to do is mass scan against three ports, 80, 443, against 54, 250, uh, slash 16. That's a uh, AWS EC2 public range, and we're saving it in a greppable file format. So we'll go ahead and enter there. And you see it's running. It's about 1.73% done, 1.74. We are scanning three ports only at 100,000. We could increase that. It looks like it's 97.82% done. So it's still pretty fast to scan 65,535 systems uh, for three ports across the internet. And I'm using a wireless connection here. Uh, so I don't have ex exactly a very fast connection. I'm also using uh, Kali Linux 2019.1 in VirtualBox. So let's uh, look at the output file there. So we're going to go to more dash for sorry more 50, 54 25. It should have been 250. I left that to zero, but you get the point there. So it looks like we found several ports open. 54.250.86.43. Let's see what that is. Looks like it's the Amazon Linux AMI test page. Uh, nothing around 445 was open. We can just check another one here real quick. Whoop. Copy that. That one's not found. That one says forbidden. Okay. Well, that's basically mass scan. Uh, you can use this for a lot of different purposes, uh, but you saw very quickly we scanned 65,535 systems, a slash 16 for three ports in about, I don't know, a minute. Hopefully you found this video, video useful. Good luck with mass scan in your reconnaissance.